Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be dealing with the budget management in Odoo Sentin accounting module. So Odoo budget management is used to manage the financial plans of a company. So this allows you to track the incomes and expenses compared to those plans. So we know every company will be dealing with certain amount for managing their expenses. So we can use particular accounts for managing that budget uh, and this gives a control over the financial plans of the business. So we can say that um, the Odoo allows you to uh, create the budgetary accounts that is using from the charts of accounts. So that shows the uh, planned incomes and expenses for a particular account over, peri over a period. So let's see how can we manage the uh, budget management in Odoo 17 accounting module. Managing budget is essential part of running a business. Budgets help people become more intentional with how money is spent and direct people to organize and prioritize their work to meet financial goals. They allow the planning of a desired financial outcome and then measure the actual performance against the plan. Odoo manages budget using both general and analytic accounts. Now let's see how can we configure the budget management in Odoo 17 accounting module. For that, you can just go to the accounting module. Under the configuration settings, we can find a section called uh, analytic where we can just enable the budget management. So this allows us to compare the expenses as well as the revenues that is generated. So we have already enabled this feature. So once you made the changes in the configuration settings, you can save the changes. So next, we are just going to discuss about the budgetary position. Budgetary position are the list of accounts for which you want to keep the budget. It can be typically an expense account or an income account. So we just need to define a budgetary position. To define a budgetary position, just go to the, um, the configuration menu and we, we can find a section management and you can set the budgetary positions over here. So currently you can see that the pre-configured budgetary position. Now let's see how can we create a new budgetary position. In order to create a new budgetary position, you can just click on new button where you can just add the name of the budgetary position and this comes under the company Cybrosis Technologies Private Limited and you can also include the number of accounts that you want to include under this budgetary position. So each budgetary position uh, have uh, a number of uh, accounts from the charts of accounts though we have to give at least once in this budgetary position. Now, uh, let's illustrate this with an example. Okay, we just started a project with Smith & Co. And we would like to budget the income and expenses of the project. And we plan on having a revenue of 1000 and we don't want to spend more than 700 So first, we just need to define what account should relate to the project's expense and all. So um, let's create a new budgetary position for the Smith & Co. And I'll be naming it as Methanco Expenses. Now you can include the accounts that you want to uh, add over here. So um, the the added accounts uh, wherein the expenses will be booked. So here you can just add the account. So here we will be creating a new account. So uh, while you're giving the code, you must uh, Keep in mind that the code must be of six digit format. So here you can set the code. Okay, later on, uh, uh, this is an expense account. So here we can set it as Smith and Co. Expense. And you can set it as expense account. Now let's save and create a new account for Smith & Co. So it's for purchasing the equipment. So here you can set like purchase of equipment as the account name. And it also comes under uh, the expense account. And later on, you can save this and close. Now, let's create uh, the other budgetary position uh, that is to uh, book the revenues that is generated. 
So in order to create a new budget reposition for revenues, you can just uh, click on new button and let's create the other one. So this booked, uh, I mean, this accounts mark the booked revenues. Now let's create a new account where you can include the account with the code. And here, let's set the account as product sale. So the product sale account comes under uh, the income and you can save the changes that you have made. So currently we have created two budgetary position that is uh, to mark the revenue as well as the expense uh, generated for Smith & Co. Now we're going to discuss about the analytic account. So Odoo needs to know which cost or expenses are relevant to be specified uh, budget as the above general accounts may be used for different projects. So in order to set that, uh, here we can find the configuration and uh, let's move on to the uh, analytic accounting where you can find the analytic accounts. So let's uh, choose that. Now we can just create a new uh, analytic account. So in order to um, get a new analytic account, you can just go to uh, the analytic account, I mean new button and here you can create a new analytic account. So let's set the name of the analytic account as Smith & Co for, I mean, Smith & Co for the EC identification. If you want to set a particular customer for this analytic account, you can set that. And if you're keeping this field as null, then this uh, analytic account can be used for any customers. Now let's choose the plan. The plan field has to be completed. So I'll be using the plan as department and let's get into the internal link of the plan. And uh, the plan groups multiple analytic account and they distribute the cost and benefits to analyze the business performance. So here, if we have any parent uh, um, analytic account, you can say that. So currently, we don't have any parent uh, analytic account. So I'll be keeping this field as null. Now, you can also set the color and the default applicability. So the applicability is optional. And afterwards, we just need to set uh, the applicability for the analytic account. So I'll be using um, the domain as invoice where we can fill the financial accounts prefix that is INV and uh, we can set the applicability as optional. Later on, I just want to add uh, uh, the domain as vendor bills and I'll be setting the financial account prefix as uh, VBA and you can set the applicability as optional. So let's save this. Now, if you want to create a plan, we can also create the plan directly from the configuration. And here we can find the section analytic accounting, where we can also go to the analytic plans and create uh, the uh, plans over there. So when creating a new customer invoice or rentable, we have to refer to this analytic account. Now let's define the budget. Let's set our target. Like we specified that we expect to gain thousand with this project and we would like not to spend more than 700 so in order to set that let's move on to the accounting where we can find the budget over here now uh, let me create a new budget for smith and Co. so you can set the budget name as uh, smith and uh, co and you can set uh, the responsible person for this budget as well as the start date and end date so this budget plan starts, I mean, this budget starts from July 1st and uh, ends on 31st of July, where you can uh, choose the budget reposition, analytic account, start date, end date, everything. So let me save this and let's choose the uh, account. So here we have created uh, the Smith & Co. revenue account and it has got uh, uh, the analytic account as uh, Smith & Co. And you can set the planned amount. So the planned amount is 1000 uh, rupees. And uh, uh, we can also set the Smith & Co's uh, expenses over here. So let's set uh, the budgetary position of Smith & Co in order to manage their expenses. And it has got the athletic account as Smith & Co itself. And uh, we can set the amount, the maximum amount that uh, the user can spend is up to 700 so that is the maximum budget that we are just uh, setting for the month july now let's see if the changes that we have made 
So as you just save the changes over here, you can find the theoretical amount. Now let's see how can we calculate the theoretical amount. The equation for calculating the theoretical amount is planned amount divided by number of days uh, in the month. So in this month, we have 31 days. So the planned amount for calculating the revenue is 1000. So as you just uh, divide 1000 divided by 31, you will get the budget uh, that we just need to gain for one day will be uh, 32.25806451. And uh, now we just need to know the theoretical amount for a month. Okay. So in order to get the theoretical month uh, for a month or till the day, uh, we just need to uh, consider the date of today. So today's date is 24. So let's multiply the amount that we have got right now with 24. And that would give a result of 774.19. Now we just need to calculate the theoretical uh, amount for the Smith & Co expenses. So the planned amount is minus 700. So 700 uh, minus 700 divided by 31 would give a result of minus 22.58064516 is the expense that should be uh, spent or that is the amount that we can spend for a day. Now we just need to... Um, calculate uh, the theoretical amount that is the money that we can spend uh, till the date. So in order to do so, we know today's date is 24. Now we can just um, yeah, multiply uh, the minus 22.58064 uh, that with uh, 24 and that would give a result of uh, minus 54194. Now let's see how the budget is affecting once we created uh, the um, yeah, the invoices or rent bills. So uh, to do so, you can just move on to the uh, customer invoices and let's create an invoice. So while creating the invoice, you always keep in mind that we have to pre provide the proper account over here as well as the analytic distribution. So let me choose the customer as uh, Anita Oliver and where you can choose the product. So the product is a uh, stool and uh, we can set the um, quantity as well as the amount over here. Now, uh, later on, here you can see the account is currently local sale. So we know uh, we have provided product sale as the account name uh, that to be uh, used under the analytic distribution or for our budget management. So we have to use that account itself. Then only we can just mark the booked uh, or the gained uh, amount in our account. Now we just need to set uh, the budgetary, I mean, uh, the analytic account. Uh, so Smith & Co uh, is the um, plan and you can also set the um, percentage as well as subtotal. So once we have set that, we can just confirm this invoice. So. As we just confirm the invoice here, you can find the changes that is uh, made for the budget. So as you just move on to the budget under the accounting menu, you can find the change over here for Smith & Co. And currently we can see the practical amount. So practical amount is uh, currently that is the amount that is gained or that is the revenue that is generated from an invoice. So here you can find the uh, revenue as 500. Now we just need to calculate the achievement. To calculate the achievement, we have to consider the equation as practical amount divided by theoretical amount into 100. So here the practical amount is 500 and the theoretical amount is uh, 774.19. As you just divide that, uh, you will get it as uh, uh, 0 0.64583629.34. And we just need to multiply it with 100 in order to uh, get in percentage. So we will get the achievement in percentage as 64.58. So here you can find that. Now let's uh, create a vendor bill and let's see how the expenses affecting for the budget that we have planned. So let's move on uh, to the uh, vendor bills and let's create a new bill where we have to uh, yeah fill the details of the vendor. So here the vendor is Abigail Peterson and it is mandatory to set the bill date. So the bill date is 24. 
and you can choose the uh, invoice lines with the product and other uh, details so i'll be choosing uh the product from this list so let's choose the product as conference chair and uh, uh we just need to set the account over here so the account is uh expense accounts with and cool expense account and we also just need to set uh, the distribution so the distribution analytic uh, distribution is department for smith and co and you can say that where you can also set the price for this so we have already set a budget that uh, the maximum amount that uh, can be spent in this month is 700 as we are generating an expense the expenses will be marked as negative um in uh, the budget management um so let me set the budget i mean the price of the product as uh, 300 and let's save this and confirm the bid and let's find uh, what are the changes that is made under the budget so here you can see the price uh, is 300 that is the expense uh, that is generated now let's move on to the accounting and here you can find the budget and uh, as we just move on to the budget here you can see that uh, as it is a budget, uh, we have spent the amount. So as we just spend that amount, um, it's lost from our account and is uh, marked as uh, minus 300 under the practical amount. And here you can um, see the achievement uh, that is uh, um, generated. So we just need to calculate the achievement. So we know the Achievement is calculated as a practical amount divided by theoretical amount into 100. So here the practical amount is minus uh, 300. Uh, so you can just go like minus 300 uh, divided by the theoretical amount is uh, um, minus 541.94. And uh, we have to multiply this with 100. And we would get a result of 55.35661515 uh, as the um, actually the achievement. But by rounding off, we will take it as 55.36 uh, as the entry over here. Now, if you want to validate this budget, you can just uh, click on confirm. And uh, if this budget is approved you can just click on approve and here you can see that upon the approval of the budget that will be moving from confirmed state into the validated state and uh, either you can cancel this budget or you can just den with this budget if you are finishing off this budget then you can just go with uh, there now uh, as you just move on to the uh, accounts or uh, yeah here we can find the charts of accounts so let's choose the charts of accounts and let's review each of the accounts over here so uh, the um, account for sale is product sale so you can just search the account which is product sale yeah let's choose this account and we can just view this account and here you can see the amount over here so here you can see the amount is minus 500 now let's uh, review the other accounts so the other account is expense account for Smith and uh, Co. So we can just search for expense. Yeah, let's search for Smith and Co. And let's view this. And here you can see the balance is uh, 300. And um, yeah, that's all. And if you want to just find the reporting, you can just go to the reporting. And here we can find the budget analysis and it shows the budget analysis of uh, each of the budget that we have created so currently we just need to find the budget analysis of smith and co and that shows the accounts that we have used as well as the analytic accounts the company under which this budget analysis is possessed and the start date end date and the planned amount practical amount theoretical amount and the achievement and that's all about managing with the budget analysis in Odoo 17 accounting module. So Odoo's budget management led to know or end lies the financial trends of the business. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the budget management in Odoo 17 accounting module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.